Anyway, back to the adventure. The old lady, we, we tripped balls on your your incense. So, have you found your answers? Not so much found as finally listened. Yes, it is quite the convoluted maze we build for ourselves. I drink a lot of beer for somebody who knows nothing about it. That's your fault, Kai. 99% of the beers I drink are just beer day. I just buy a lot of different ones so I can try new ones to see if I can find something I like. Um... Oh man, that's deep. Existence is simpler with your eyes closed. It takes courage to open them. It looks like you learned something in there as well. I believe I did. Hearing that brings me great joy, my friend. I sure did. Yep, pink beer day. Uh, my friend Kai and I, every, once every two days, we share a beer together. Virtually. And it is called beer day. Alright, let's see. Oh, so we're just done with him, his slide stuff? Okay. Where do we go for this? Do we go back to... Monarch? Oh, interesting. I, I didn't know that. I've never watched Lost, so I didn't know that was a the latest wave thing that happened there. Cool. All right, let's uh, back to Mon. Huh, I wonder why they're being so vague about which one I land at. Oh, well, go to this one. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Alrighty then. Okay, let's see. And where we got to go for this? Over there? Okay, let's go here then. The Kai needs, Kai needs these beers so that she can survive the existential dread of living in the the wastes of Misha Dirt. Misha Dirt doesn't really work. I need a better name for it. Our victory is their defeat. Bitch. Bitch again. <laughs> okay, yes, bitch again works. Right. Because it's so bitchin'. No. That's not what I was thinking. Then again, I haven't seen most of Michigan. I've just I've mostly been to uh, Detroit and Midland, which are, well, do not recommend. Rifle 2.0. Like that. Hmm. Whew. 
here we go. I haven't set foot in here since... Well... Well, technically we've been in the Saginaw a little yeah. bit too, but just for, like, dinner trips. From Midland. So ridiculously close to Midland. Not a lot of good places to eat in Midland. Oh, a shovel, huh? Oh, I'll pick up the shovel because I think the game wants me to have it right now. <laughs> Missouri would be a nice place to visit, Pink, that's for sure. A wee bit farther away from me, unfortunately. It definitely has its attractions. Got some nice friends I can visit out there. That all about. And it's not great. Ah, crap. Nicely done. I need to take those things, okay? Scrap. Scrap. This skill that lets me see inside of containers that are locked is messing me up. You're trying to just take them. take this time. Check the feeding ground. Okay. What am I inspecting it for? Place glands. Well, this <laughs> is the spot. You know, I thought I'd be angry. I thought I'd storm in here in a rage and exterminate all these bugs and everything would be all right in the end. But I ain't. I'm mostly just empty. A little sad, maybe. Uh -huh. The first night Hayes and I spent in here, we knew it was home. It's safe. It's got a nice chill to it. But mostly, it doesn't stink of sulfur. That's a rare thing on this planet. Monarch folks often joke about it. Not because of the smell or the grittiness it leaves in your throat. Not because of the headaches or the coughing. It's because there's no escaping it. It's life here, and there ain't anything you can do about it. But here, somehow the sulfur never made it. The nights we spent in here felt like vacations. So we started building. We hauled in steel. Hired sublight folk to help. That's how we met Anders and Opal. They stuck around after our contract was up. Opal liked camping. Anders liked chasing her tail. Hmm. Four of us for a while, scraping together what bits we could to build our home. Then came Rebecca, a sawbones out of the Cascadia survivors, who took a kindness to Hayes. And Clara, her little sister. I'll admit I wasn't keen on taking her on at first. But for a teenager, she was surprisingly capable. Believe me, I had my complaints. She had a head for numbers. Helped us trade hides for food and materials. Negotiated contracts. Turned out to be mighty useful. Clara, Hayes, Anders, Rebecca, Opal, and 
Me. Six folks, one name. One family. Charon. Despite Monarch trying to kill us day in and day out, we managed to belong. Huh? Me too, Captain. But I'm starting to think that maybe I found another. Aww. Now let's get to shooting before I get all sentimental. Let's shoot some crap together, girl. It'll be awesome. As smoothly as I might have preferred. Ooh. Like that ceiling. Herpetophobia. After too many encounters with manta pillars and mantasaurs. You're not quite yourself when any of the Manti family or creatures are attacking your party. Hmm. I don't like that flaw. No. No, oh, thank you. That is actually pretty sure how that Charon is pronounced. Okay, or at least it's how most of us English speakers pronounce it. I think it, I think it's pronounced with more phlegm in Greek. Although, you know what? I have a... a there's a Greek guy where I work, I can ask him. Did I see what Andy said? What about about caves and stuff, you mean? And about being invited to crash over there? That was a pro that was a, a nice offer. I was in the middle of a lot of stuff at the time it was said, though, so I couldn't respond immediately. Thank you, Andy. Um, no, we don't pronounce Japan Japan as opposed to Nippon because Nippon is not how you pronounce Japan. Nippon is just an entirely different word, and we just call their country by the wrong word. These were more auspicious circumstances, but at least we're all here. This bringing them together, burying them. This is the kind of thing Hayes would have done. That makes it stupid. By all accounts, we should have left well enough alone, but that also makes it right. Captain, thank you. You mind if we rest a spell before we head out? I'd I'd like to bury Opal and Clara proper before I lay everyone's medallions to rest. That's fair. I think you should hold on to the medallions, though. What? Why? Them's painful memories, Captain. Still memories. Huh. That's... That ain't a bad point. All right, Captain. Thanks. I mean, I could be wrong, Kai, about the Japan Nippon thing. It just that's what it seemed to me. It seemed like it wasn't a pronunciation thing. It's like entirely different letters and everything. I don't know. Just the way it seemed to me. All right. Um. All right, let's go to Phineas. Your low key fob fan? I have no idea what that is. 
What you talking about? Wait, wait. Why this thing is pointing over there? Is that where I left my ship? Yes. Fallout Boy? Over oh, the that memory thing you said was that a a, a song lyric quote? Because I'm really Ali bad at those. Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. All right, modify. Not much. Tinker. arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? You got this covered, girl. You can do it. And... They were planning to live much past 40, Kai? Well, I've already got your plans beat, then. Personally. That is because I am the old. You. I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. We. Oui. in several blackboards. I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists, and then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. And Golden City, that sounds pretentious as hell. You can trust her if that's what you're asking. Imagawa is the finest special agent in Byzantium that money can buy. My money, anyway. Of course, of course. What's on your mind? Not much, apparently. Okay, bye. Alright, let's go back to the Groundbreaker and hand in the other quest. Pick up the other science weapon. Maybe sell some stuff.
Some crew members are causing a disturbance oh. on the ship. I definitely won that round. You always seem to, huh? That's because I'm usually right. Next time I work the scorecard. Can we talk? What's up? So, we're just gonna march straight into Byzantium and acquire some rare chemicals right under the board's nose? I sure hope you negotiated for a raise with this Phineas guy. Ever notice how this job gets bigger and more dangerous every time he calls in? He's asking a lot, Captain. Makes me wonder what your angle is. I bet you do. I knew a doctor like him once. He had a patient complaining of ankle pain, so he amputated the man's foot. Wasn't even the right one. <laughs> Point is, good intentions don't count for shit. And nothing's more dangerous than a crusader with a cause. Besides, none of this is your mess, so why go dirtying your hands with it? Guess I hadn't looked at it that way. Still, Phineas isn't your only option. The board's put a bounty on his head. And they've got more than enough bits to pay it. I've got no love for the corporations, but they know how to take care of their people. The ones at the top, anyway. Everyone is. The board just pays the best. I know you want to save the day, but don't forget to look after yourself. No one else out here is going to. I didn't know you cared. Hey. Don't get any ideas. I'm just making sure you last long enough to pay me at the end of this. Anything else? Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> okay, and... This first. Alright, Groundbreaker. I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist... Dr. Phineas Wells. Yeah, girl. We've arrived at the Groundbreaker. All right. Uh, Vicar, you're out. Pravati, you're in. And I need to buy perk for you. Ah, good. Perk. Um. Exciting. Here, have more range damage. We've got a few anatomical charts in this game, Kai. For a few different critters. Interesting, actually. Especially the, uh, the Manta Queen, because you can see how the swarms of bees come out of her boobs. It's, uh, it's a little uncomfortable. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. A hundred twenty-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. You're not the only one who enjoys the finer things. You know what? Fuck it. Enjoy yourself. I invest in the happiness of my workers, and you deserve a bigger cut. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. Yeah. No one you saw, anyway. Glad to see you're looking out for yourself. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. 
Catherine sounds pleased as a pig in shit over cornering the Borst markets. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? Now that's an odd question. Like they were hanging on to your every word, scheming. And when you turned around, maybe they just point like innocent little idiots. <laughs> I have to boink at her softly. All right, cut the pig shit. <laughs> I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? Whatever, you, you doing okay, girl? I've got a lot on my mind, but it's nothing that concerns you. At least, not yet. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work, they're going to salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? How big we talking? Not like Groundbreaker big, right? This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. How did a research station become salvage? Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. All right, let's do it. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Between all these concepts about comments about being followed and then asking if the pigs were acting strange, I'm starting to think you might be a little paranoid. Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. Play your cards right and I'll clue you in. But right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Nobody. Just That's be who. careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. Except me, obviously. You can trust me. Clearly. Level up. Alright, lockpick at max. Uh, what's... Play. Four points over in Persuade. You guys have more stuff here. Uh, sure, you can have that. You can also have that. I don't know. I'm running out of stuff that you that I want. But okay. Um. Weapons from the void. Where's this fancy weapon hiding? CNP near Maple Syrup. It's Wait. near this complete breakfast. Oops. No, that's that's not a vending machine. Never mind. Oh hey, let's talk to this guy. Is it just me or is groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. Mmm, chilly. Have a look. Oh, chilly now. That's delicious. Should wait. Uh, where's the ammo? Light ammo. I don't need this crap. Get rid of it. Thank you. How do I get there? Huh. Didn't get me where I wanted to go. Ah! 
Ah! Twelve percent more crunch. What a deal! Ah. Okay. Hard. Let's see. I need to get in there. How do I get up there? Maybe this will do it. Yeah, there we go. Don't mind me, guys. I'm supposed to be here. Honest. Ah! That was. I'm the murderer. Oh, you're my friend. Never mind. Sorry, Pravati. Didn't mean to shoot you. Thought you're a bad guy. It's okay. There's just just a little bit of plasma between friends. That's all right. No big deal, right? Great work. Also, I'm unclear about why I'm suddenly getting bonus, huge bonuses to my lock picking instead of penalty. I am confused. Oh, because Parvati's on the team, that's why. We can continue wearing heavy armor and it's okay. Matic Hammer? Ooh. What's that? Thermal electrical and chemical damage? Ooh. Alright, Parvati, I think this goes to you, my friend. Doing anywhere near as much damage as what you're using now, though. Mm. Maybe I can improve it. Well, that might cost a lot of money. Ugh, I don't know. I'll take a look at the... Uh, actually, wait a second. There was a bench right here. Let's look into that right now. Tinker with hammer. Hmm. No, it's not worth it. But let's... I'll equip it myself and just see what it looks like. I mean, it's cute. But not really worth it. 